Today I'm going to show you how you can build your own pedalboard like this, both how you get the pedals, the wiring and the power supply sorted. And as you can understand, it did not look like this when you got it, instead it looked like this. And as you can see, it's very stripped down, <laughs> uh, but I'm going to go through how you can get the pedals on here and also the power supply in the back end. And we can start with the power supply. Uh, and the first thing you need to think about is I'm going to get my power supply here. Um, when you first get the board, it can be a little too low. And with low, I mean this way. So if you can see here, perhaps, that I have a small distance here. And I've added that, and that this is a hollow mountain, uh, and those screws were included in the package. Uh, and if you don't add them, um, it's too low for the power supply, which means that you, when you have installed the power supply on here, it will be lower than the mounting here. So the first thing you, you to need to be aware about is how big is your power supply, uh, and do you need to lengthen your, your legs here? That's, that's the first step. After that, you can start to mount the power supply. And for me, it was actually a little bit tricky uh, because when you install this Halabantan power plant, it's uh, ISO 2 Pro, uh, it came included with um, the loose stem. So th this one came included with just run some rubber bands, like this. Like hair bands, <laughs> uh, which I don't need. Um, and to mount the power supply on your board, you can do it like this. It's very easy uh, when you know what to do. So take your power supply, put it here, take a rubber band, and just put it like that. Second one. Like that. Third one across. Like that. So one band on each side, parallel, and one across. You're done. So pretty easy when you know what to do. Then the next step is to mount your pedals on this side here. This is the surface where you stick your pedals at. But if you know a pedal, it will not come with that. So what you need to do, this is my Alimenta Extreme Metal pedal. On the back side, have this material. Um, you have to, I think for this pedal board, it was included. Uh, otherwise you have to buy this kind of material. I will put the links in the description what I bought, uh, which you just tape on here. So after that, it's very easy to just mount it and then it, it sticks. But you must add that yourself, otherwise the pedal won't uh, adhere to the pedal board. After that it's really up to you uh, which order you want to mount the pedals. Uh, I have a certain um, way of mounting it, uh, so I will do that for you just for uh, demonstration purposes, but the order is of course totally up to you. To connect different pedals in a chain, because you have a chain here, this is the first one, second one, third one, and the fourth one. To connect them, you have it's very convenient to have these kind of shorter cables. Um, this is all cheap Halabantan, I think. Um, then you have um, an output here and an input. So you basically just take one here. And it's also smart to do it the correct order. <laughs> so here. You can do that for uh, each pedal. Of course, it depending on your size and where the output and input jack is situated will depend on uh, which pedals you have. 
and also I'm not a pedal expert. If this is the uh, wrong order, you know, sue me. Or don't. <laughs> Now they're all mounted. Next step is to connect the power supply. Again, you have you know a lot of small cables here. It's convenient not to have two big cores here because it will be pretty messy. But remember, here's your power supply. So just in order, power. Then just connect it to the appropriate slot. We're done. Afterwards, when all the everything is connected, you can make the wires to go look a bit more pretty. But I will do that later. As you can see, the cable management is not op optimized yet. <laughs> the, the last step is, of course, draw this cable, make it stick in the backside. Backside will be, be more, um, look more professional. <laughs> uh, but this is just for de demo purposes. And the last step is just put your guitar in here. And of course you have the power for the power supply in there. Then you're done. Hopefully you get some help to mount this from this video. If you want to know how to connect all of this or a pedal into your computer uh, or an old interface, uh, watch this video next where I explain everything you need to know about that.